Good morning and welcome back to White Mountain Today here on White Mountain TV 16. Joining us right here is April and Ginger from Cranmore Fitness. How are you guys today? Great. Great. Wonderful to see you. Glad to be here. Oh, Glad yeah. to see you. Well, you're looking fit, I guess, which is important. <laughs> we try. For, you know, for Cranmore Fitness. And we were just talking about all the things that you have going on at Cranmore Fitness. I think it's just, it's amazing. All the things that you, well, where I think, wow, they can't add anything where you're adding more stuff. So, so let's talk about that. Let's talk about uh, some of the things going on at Cranmore Fitness. Well, we're talking about fitness and fat loss at Cranmore Fitness. And um, we have the 10 day fat blast starting up uh, August 13th. Uh, we have the four week fat blast, which is for people who can um, only make it in the evening. Yeah. Uh, and it's two days a week. It's Monday and Wednesday at 5.30 p.m. And April is running a, a yoga for weight loss um, class right now. Yep. And we're gonna start another one up in September. Let's talk about the yoga for weight loss. Cause sure. that to me, as I said, those are words that aren't usually combined in a sentence. So let's talk about that. That sounds fascinating. Yeah, it's actually a lot of fun. Um, it's a four week series on Monday nights. It's a 90 minute practice. And I made up sequences that encourage um, detox in the body, they boost metabolism, um, and then we do total body strength at the same time. So you get a little bit of everything. Um, and I also introduce a little meditation just to get the mindset. And we practice some pranayama, pranayama techniques, um, which is breath control, yeah. which can also help um, with the detox and metabolism boosting as well. And, and yoga is, I don't want to say it's up and coming because yoga has been around forever, but um, gaining in popularity and I think people are realizing how great yoga is and listening to that, that that's amazing. That just seems like a great combination of yes, stuff. Yes, the benefits of yoga just in general are really, really great. Um, and I think more people are starting to realize that. So it's less like intense cardio work and strength training um, and more gentle practice that is going to give you the same benefit because I think as you know, because people always yeah people always think oh you know if I'm going to lose weight or whatever I've got to be on the treadmill I've got to be doing all this stuff but you've come up with a, a neat alternative mm -hmm. and it's really a lot of fun um, I've done two um, series so far of it um, this the one I'm doing currently ends tomorrow so that'll be the end of the four weeks and I've heard really great feedback from everybody and we're starting another one up on September 11th. Now with with yoga, um, I imagine it's good for any, I'll call it body types or any strengths or anything like that. You don't have to be in a certain place in your life, you know, physically to be able to partake in yoga. Absolutely not, it's for everybody. Every body type, every age, um, every level of yoga. So you can be completely new, not having a clue of what you're doing, or you can be the best of the best and still benefit from the practice. That's really cool. Yeah. Well, that's great. So that next one starts up on September 11th. Yes. So you can uh, sign up there at Cranmore mm -hmm. Fitness. And, yep. uh, and Ginger, what do you have cooking? Uh, I am running the 10 day fat blast challenge, which is 10 days of exercise at 7 a.m. in the morning. And we do something different. 10 days in day. a row? 10 days in a row. Straight? Straight. Okay. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's really great, but it, it sounds difficult, but we do something different every day. Mm -hmm. And yoga is even included mm -hmm. um, in one of those days. You know, so we have days where we just do some cardio. Um, we work on the difference between aerobic and anaerobic training. So when you're working aerobically, that day is actually pretty easy. It's almost like a recovery day. Mm -hmm. um, but it contributes to uh, using stored body fat as your energy. Um, and then we have other days that are more difficult. We might do some strength training or some HIIT training or something like that. Um, but our last class, last couple of classes, we had ages 22 to 75. Everybody did it. Um, and did we, you blast some fat? I blast a ton of fat off of those bodies. <laughs> <laughs> they did unbelievable. They did great. We talk about nutrition. They keep food journals. Oh, that's it's, great. It's really, really something. I think the thing with that, what sounds interesting, is that you're doing something different every day. Yeah. And, and, and I imagine you're also teaching people so that that's stuff they can then take with them. Yes. And continue on. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And we have classes that they can take on our schedule that's on our schedule every week and every day that they can 
um, go take, and a lot of those classes are similar to some of the classes that we do on the 10 day. Yeah. And then, so you said that's the uh, the 10 day blast, but then you also have a weekly blast. Yeah, we have a full week fat blast challenge. It's at 5.30 in the evening. Uh, it's two times a week, um, and it's for, you know, the working person who can't get to class until 5.30. Yeah. We don't do that 10 days in a row at 5.30 at night. Um, this is, it's, it's a little more gentle, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> it's not as intense. Yeah. Um, but they, they too also have some great results. Yeah, but it actually, they're learning how to um, motivate themselves on their own because, you know, the other five days a week they have to motivate themselves on oh, their absolutely. own. Oh, absolutely. So, yeah, absolutely. Um, so I they, imagine, you know, while they're both fat blast challenges, you're yeah. really, you're kind of hitting on some different things. We are. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. And of, of course, uh, it's, it's August, so we got to start getting ready for ski season. Yes. Yeah. We have the ski conditioning coming up. Carl Iacazelli. I hope I said that right, <laughs> Carl. Uh, <laughs> Nobody can say his name. You know, I don't he, think he can even he told say, me to <laughs> say He told me to think of Cannoli when I hear his last name. So I keep wanting to say Aya Cannoli. Why don't we just call him, <laughs> we'll just call him Carl? Carl Cannoli. <laughs> anyway, um, he is going to be running the uh, ski conditioning class. Um, and that will start in October. Um, October 17th, I believe. And um, we also have the 60 and over ski conditioning class. And I'll be running that with Alexis Brochu. And we have a blast in that class. That It's so much fun. Now, how important is it? Um, ah, I'm only skiing. I don't need to get conditioned. How, how much of a difference does that make for people of huge, any age? Huge. We work on balance, stability, and mobility as well as cardiovascular strength, which will bring you far, um, and endurance of the muscles. So even though you've been skiing for years, yep. it's always good to... Yeah, I mean, in. doing the same type of exercise over and over and over is gonna create a strength in some areas and a, an imbalance of weakness in other areas. So if you can strengthen the whole body and account for everything, right? The mobility, the balance, um, the endurance, the strength, all of that together will make you a better skier. Uh, it will decrease your risk of injury while skiing. You know, and as we get older, wow, you and she, me. She, <laughs> oh, April will be there someday. <laughs> but we're there right now. Um, it, it's gonna help decrease the risk of injury. Um, you know, uh, make your falls uh, I don't know what the word less I'm looking painful. for. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> less painful. Uh, you'll recover easier. Yeah. Uh, you'll be able to tumble easier and kind of go with the fall. Uh, where if you're stiff and not stable and weaker, that fall could be more traumatic. Well, the other thing too is I think that it would make it more enjoyable. When I ski, I'm a you know I'm kind of a stiff skier, um, and you know when I hit a little bump and I'm like oh, so <laughs> yeah. I would just imagine that that's going to kind of help. It's true. Yeah, make that make that work yeah. a little better. Yeah. So. Yep. Well, that's great. So that's coming up here pretty quick. And uh, what are, you you mentioned you've uh, you've adapted your spinning room there too. We have. We've created um, a fantastic spinning room with lights that the instructor can control uh, right next to a podium, right next to their spin bike. Um, we have great music. We have new speakers in there, and um, we keep our bikes up beautifully, and uh, it's. It's really, you have to come see it. It's yeah, fantastic. That's a, that sounds yeah. really cool. So yeah. We have some longer spin classes that are an hour. We have some shorter ones that are 45 minutes that get right to the point. <laughs> um, we're looking at a, um, like a, a spinning enrollment course, um, and we're working on that right now for people who love to ride their bikes and want to do a weight loss program but aren't interested in anything else. Yeah. <clears throat> so. Well, that's very cool. Looking into a spinning for weight loss that's very as cool. well. So, and then April, so yoga is your gig, right? Is yes. there other things that you uh, partake in there at Cranmore Fitness? Um, I also teach a TRX boot camp class on Thursday Fun. nights, which is the total opposite <laughs> right. of a yoga practice. Um, but it's a lot of fun. We do TRX and functional training. Sometimes I take my class outside and do some stadium type exercises on the um, 
steps right outside of the tubing park. So yeah. I make them work, but we have a lot of fun as well. Oh, I bet. <laughs> I would almost think that, that TRX and yoga would have some similarities, though. They because do. Because some of the activities where you're just kind of holding and... Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I actually took a course in TRX for yoga, so I know how to do some um, sequences and poses with the straps as well. It's really cool. Um, we did a little bit of it last summer, but it hasn't caught on yet, so yeah. hopefully we'll try to get it back and maybe well, do some go. enrollment programs well, with the TRX. I, what's amazing to me right now is just, you know, we've just touched base on just a few of the programs there at Cranmore Fitness, and there's just so much that you can do. So if somebody wants to find out, they're kind of, I don't want I imagine the best thing is just to come down and talk to you guys. Definitely, mm -hmm. yeah. And the beauty of these enrollment programs that we're talking about is that you don't have to be a member. You can sign up for an enrollment program on MindBody, which is the software that we use. Yeah. Um, and you don't have to be a member. And and just kind of check it out, try it out. Yeah. Is probably the, yep. the best thing because I think a lot of people are often afraid of commitment. Yep. And so this is a or way for them to intimidated to go into a right. gym. Right. Um, but we we are a very non-intimidating gym. You know. Um, Definitely a comfortable atmosphere. It's very yeah. comfortable, yeah. very welcoming. Yeah, I think that's so important. So, Well, that's great. So your website, of course, is? CranmoreFitness.com. <laughs> I hope. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's the laugh. <laughs> there you go. There's the, the famous laugh. So CranmoreFitness.com. You can also, of course, go on to the Cranmore uh, website and then find the link to yep. it and everything else. Plus, it's just right up there on Ski Mobile Road, just in a mile from... If, if it's even that far from the center of North Conway Village, so very easy to get to. And you're open like practically every minute of the day. Every day of the year. Every day of the yep. year. <laughs> 5.30 to uh, eight. 8 during the week. Yep, during the week and on the weekends. we Saturdays we close at 6 and Sundays we close at 4. Yep. But 5.30 in the morning, so no excuse mm -hmm. not to get up and, and do that. They'll all no. come up with one. So Ginger, April, thank you so much yep, for coming you. by. Thank and you. we'll see you up there at Cranmore Fitness. And we'll be back here in a minute.